Cryo in the lane. Licorice slams the Malphite. This looks pretty good here. A ton of physical damage. You have some mix, technically, from Tristana and Varus each. Um, Spika being the only real magic damage threat. There's a lot of ambient magic damage, of course. Well, that advantage that Spika created early has kept him up in the farm, kept him up in the XP against River, who is also gravitating over towards uh -oh. the outside. Spika coming from the lane, a root and a stun up. Onto one, immediate blast down. Spika claiming that first blood against who he going and claiming this first dragon. You see Ayla nearby to be able to spot this out. People have talked a lot about the scrims, and I might hold this point out as we see a dive coming through. An attempt at one at that. Ayla going forward ends up catching a little bit of a wall because of that responding flash from Stixay. Whoa, Vikla. Forward. Vikla going on in. A shot onto Stixay. FlyQuest picking up the kill here. Good use of the buster shot, but Golden Guardians continue with their pursuit over the wall. Gory attempting to get the lockdown onto Prince. The root is good. The double, double off bubble. of Prison. More at that. Gory now on the retreat at the hand of FlyQuest, who are missing their mid laner. They're missing more. Ayla going for an attempt on River, who does eventually fall. But Spika in the lonesome Golden Guardians pushing back on that dive. Ult him in the line with Spika, so that even though Spika's going to finish off the Rift Herald, from then, the only way... Oh, hold on. Don't have time to finish this one. Another fight in the mid lane. Oh, wanted to get a little bit of a blast. Too much distance to be able to continue building up that charge and now that river is here the old under the tower punishing vikla whenever you see that rocket jump used you know what you can do to fight. they did get that rift herald charge down but they didn't have enough pressure afterwards to actually force that dragon until vikla got that chunk down nice play by him gets them the ship damage and when looking at the rest of golden guardians stixay and huhi now with the gale force and imperial mandate so finally, looking to put that into action. The calling is good. The tidal wave is good. And Prince on the opposite side of the Aqua Prison, but in the end goes down. GG continuing with the follow-up. Ayla in a dangerous spot of HP. Uh, terrain behind <laughs> yeah. someone. You can end up going flying in, leaving yourself isolated. Now we have a big standoff around this Rift Herald. Ah, River and has ultimate this time around. Oh, taking so much damage. The calling response. River, oh, blasted on down by Prince. But Vigla is the one that gets traded. Ayla going for the root onto who he also eliminated. Double kill coming in for Prince. FlyQuest looking to collapse, but they've lost three members already. Golden Guardians coming in for the slaughter, but Stixay is the one that falters. Now turning the action on to Impact, who gets the knockback and the stun and more on to Licorice. Only a little bit of tankiness left. No mana to be thrown back, and down into the bucket he goes. By Huki to uh, kind of make sure that River couldn't get exploded from getting caught out there. They, they combo, they're all together. We don't have time. What am I, what am I saying? Of course it's going to be a fight. <laughs> Vikla and Gori still going at it on other sides of the map. River still winding on up to try and get here on Vikla, who does manage to take down Gori before being targeted himself. Buster in a way. Ayla in for the fight. A root against the wall. A stun up in the aqua prison for the knockoff. River wants to escape. Can't do it. The scrap continues. Double digit kills for Fly Quest and another. Yeah, if you don't situation there. The fact that they just brought more people faster off the reset gets in that kill. Oh, we're back fighting. Oh, now it's on the opposite side. Tidal Wave getting a couple <laughs> of the knockups, but River down. Aqua Prison onto Ayla and the Rue all the way downtown. Nate's Prince in a very dangerous position. Licorice wants to find an angle to come into this. Does have the ultimate to disrupt. Teleport and get out of my lane. Get out of my life. I feel like it's just the energy between these two. And Whoa. now it's all the action from these teams across the mid lane as Spika, oh, so brought down. Spika eliminated off of the top of this. And the pulling response into Vikla, the root response onto River, and the knockback from Ayla means not long for this world. Again, impact separated from Prince. Golden Guardians taking down three. For that play, they begin with a teleport from Impact over on this top side. Gory scouting oh, out he's in. Prince into the bush. Takes damage immediately from Gory that goes for the roof, but already marked down low. Prince flashing forward for it. Now Impact into the Baron pit, but his multiple members of Golden Guardians stunned in the back of the pit. Another pelvis teleport getting ushered Just in off. by FlyQuest. A channeled up Q from Prince, but back they go. Taking down Licorice, FlyQuest. Push the Baron still leads. Off of the Baron, who's down below 2,000 HP. Oh, River's still alive, though. Is he going to get back into the pit? He gets oh. there. Right around the Baron, they go. Not, uh, not this time around. If Prince has anything to say about it. Oh, FlyQuest intend to make work with this Red Bull Baron buff. But what a chaotic Baron it was.
yeah, teleport of Vikla saying, hey guys, just stall this out. Ayla kind of <laughs> from the grave helping shot call the team that stalled it out. And here, River is just chased down. He has to, oh, what am I saying? We're fighting again. Again and again and again and again. Another tidal wave, another mark down River. And Liquid Whoa. putting the work in to go in with that unstoppable work. But in the end, Stick stays rooted. Stick stays in trouble. Licorice falls. Three eliminated for Golden Guardians. Vikla loves him. A rocket jump. Loves him. The continuation when he gets that reset. Glory alone in the mid lane. But Fly Quest definitely building some momentum. Congratulations to Speak Up for 500 kills in his LCS career, making it in the midst of a great play from FlyQuest. FlyQuest punished the engage by Golden Guardians, despite the nice combination of the Malphite ultimate with Gory's LeBlanc distortion, not enough to stop that push. FlyQuest now 8,000 gold ahead, looking at picking up a win and trying to keep pace with Cloud9. 30 kills in this. Also an aggressive player, kind of just all inning on this identity. Especially when you know you have the other identity to fall back upon too. You know that he can take those tanks for that team play if they do have to adapt and draft. So going at the style that they desire to play, working into that aggressiveness of Spika and Vikla, FlyQuest finding confidence in their ability to do so in this match against Golden Guardians will do wonders for them into the rest of their super. The top lane, they're gonna try and pressure around this inner turret now that they have two inhibitors down. And they feel good about... From the W to force out River's ultimate, getting nothing from it and then backing off means that there's no real threat of an engage now on the side of Golden Guardian. So FlyQuest can just pressure as aggressively as they want. Uh, that's exactly what they're going to try and do here. Impact is zoning off Void. The rest of FlyQuest ushering this wave over on the top side. It's the only remaining turret. Licorice goes in with the ult. Pookie ready to follow up. Gets a knock up onto multiple in the color lane across the board. But Licorice soon to fall. Prince, even with the shielding up, is able to keep alive in it. Vikla going on in. The pull back to take down Licorice. Three kills for FlyQuest thus far. Pookie zoned off alongside Gori. I stand corrected, they still have Malphite for the engage, but of course, then no follow-up means that once Prince has that stopwatch used, he's able to survive the fight, they're able to find the kills, and now find the game for FlyQuest. FlyQuest keeping their eyes on the Nexus. They want to silence the doubters that have been on them in this second round, Robin, and remind LCS fans why they started so dominantly and why they're still in contention <laughs> for that top spot. Oh, Prince just standing back there, dancing the whole time, baiting Gory in as the Nexus explodes, lives with 16 HP, not even close.